Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2532, where we have 28 moves to clear out 59 jelly. And it's tough because not only are they under things like meringue and four-layer thick frosting, but they're also a bit in isolation. We've got ticking time bombs on the board that are set to come down, and then we also have a mystery candy dispenser. Could be good, could be evil. I don't like this setup, and I know that I can exit before I take a turn, and it doesn't cost me a life, and even if I were to bring in boosters of any sorts, it wouldn't cost me any boosters. So I can look for a better board. That's what I'm going to do. I'll meet you back here when I find it. So I'm going to try this for the preponderance of green and purple I have on this board. I'm hoping because of that I'll get some specials created here to open things up quickly for me. Not as quickly as I would have hoped. I was looking for a bit more cascading here. Yuck. Hello. Okay, so color bomb. Matched with a stripe or matched with a wrapped? I don't have a lot of purple on this board and it's not in a position where I can use it to open this up easily. So I'm going to go striped so it has more of a reach here. Okay, let's see if I could get more orange through this way I can get a color bomb. And then this is a wrap. This is a better situation for me. Now I've got more stuff down here that can be more helpful. Color bombs, baguette color bombs, and other specials. Oh, so tough to decide what to do. I like this positioned right here. I would love to set this up with another special. It's just hard to figure out how to get one over here, except if this works, there we go. Oh, I love that stripe right along that base there. Okay, how do I pair this up? I'm going to bring it down low. Yikes. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Remember how helpful this was before? And I've got the blue landing in some really good spots here. There we go, we got it. All right, that was my sixth playthrough for recording purposes similar to one that I recently played. I'm surprised it didn't take me more tries than that. Setting up a good board in the beginning is important, but it's hard to know what a good board is. I look for those direct opportunities to make specials, and I also look for those uh, opportunities to concentrate the colors down. Plus, there's always going to be luck on a board when you're dealing with mystery candies. If this was at all helpful to you, I ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That would help me. If you have questions or comments, please put those below and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.